Hello people, I am Jabby Kawai. This is my guest, Meryl Goldsmith. No relation to Will Smith. <laughs> We're gonna watch The Arrival, official trailer number one. There are days that define your story beyond your life. <laughs> I'm Colonel G.T. Weapon from Army Intelligence. Pack your bags. You're at the top of everyone's list when it comes to translations. Priority one. What do they want? Where are they from? You'll be reporting to me, but you'll be working with him when you're in the show. That's what they call a UFO. Well, it's like a giant egg. <laughs> yeah. I was being carted off in the medevac. Not everyone is wired for what you're about to do. So what do they look like? You'll see soon enough. Every 18 hours, a door opens up. That's where we go in. It's time. What? Yeah, they just happened. Is, is gravity changing? Oh my god. What? Planet Sarah. They arrive. Need to see me. Dr. Oh, God. That's a proper introduction. Oh. Objects have landed around the world. This is one of 12. I'm never going to be able to speak their words. Got two days. Figure something out. I am human. It's their language. We need to make sure that they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Language is messy and sometimes one can be both. Are you dreaming in their language? It's possible they probably must to fight among ourselves. This is just a way to force us to work together for once. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated? Russia just executed one of their own to keep their secret. We got 21 hours before they start global war. So how do we clarify their intentions? I go back in. Why does this feel worse? Uh, let's try to let's let's assess what that movie is real quick. So aliens come down to Earth, right? Right. And um, they need the best translator in the world. <laughs> right. Who doesn't who, speak their language? Who turns but... out to be Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> but at least she's a woman. <laughs> and um, whatever, it's Amy Adams. We need a, we need a, we need an actress we can market. Yeah. So Amy Adams, she's beautiful and she's a great actress. And she's great at translating. And she's great at translating. Yes, that's, stuff. I'm sorry, I got off on a little stupid <laughs> tangent that relates to my own. So um, yeah, she's great at translating things, and she picks up on their language. Uh, what I'm liking about this is it's not the in your face kind of alien stuff that you're yeah. used to. This is more of a slow burn, and it's kind of creepy, and you're wondering what the what the hell's gonna happen. I'm hoping that wasn't most of the movie. I'm hoping that was primarily like the first maybe 45 minutes of the film. Right. She she becomes obsessed with their language and it's almost like, well, whose side are you on at some <laughs> right. point? Like, are you on... Are you dreaming in their language? Right, yeah. exactly. Are you on their side or are you on our side? Because remember, you're human. Yeah. Um, and maybe there's the scare of they've infected her or something like that. Oh, like, okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. Because they've gotten into her head, maybe they're trying to use her as a tool against them. This is different from any other alien film that I we've seen so far. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Contact. I was so about to say Contact way, with Jodie Foster. Because it's like that same minimal approach. Do you uh, watch videos by Neil deGrasse Tyson? Videos? Or, um, like where he speaks and stuff like that? Yeah, actually, I've seen a couple. Here's what Neil deGrasse Tyson says. You ready for this? Yes. Okay. So, um, you're doing such a good job of just looking at the lens. <laughs> you never look at me. Never look at Meryl me Smith, ne Meryl Goldsmith <laughs> never makes eye contact with Jabby. So, <laughs> Only side eye now. Yeah. Okay, so here's what he says. Let's look at gorillas, right? Okay. Gorillas have a 1% DNA difference from us. Right. 1% DNA difference. In that 1% is poetry, movies, language, cars, buildings, like all the shit that makes us us is in that 1%. Yeah. Right? If an alien were to come across the galaxies, the universe, 
they would be 100% different. Mm -hmm. What makes you think they're going to want to talk to us? <laughs> Yeah. What makes you think we can communicate with them when we look at gorillas putting square pegs into square holes and go, wow, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. They can do math. They understand money. That's cute that gorillas <laughs> can do that, right? Mm -hmm. So they might look at our Hubble telescope, our astrophysics, and go, that's cute <laughs> that they can do that. <laughs> right. Maybe someday they'll learn how to traverse the universe. Yeah. That kind of thing. So they'll fly in, see us, observe, leave. Mm-hmm. If they don't want our resources. And we wouldn't know the better. Like, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't yeah. know that that happened. Right. You know. So you don't think they've already infiltrated? <laughs> don't awaken the conspiracy theory. Put that guy away. <laughs> no, but I, I'm, I'm liking this concept quite a bit. Yeah. I love alien movies. Yeah. Um, especially when they're different. Mm -hmm. As opposed to just... I saw Independence Day yeah. Resurgence and I was just Ooh. very disappointed. Yeah, I heard it was um, awful. I mean, there were some good moments... But it wasn't great. Okay, so Sicario. Yeah. I, I, I mentioned a number of things I didn't like about the movie in my review of it, uh, which is no longer available on YouTube for reasons. One thing I mentioned was that I loved the cinematography in the movie. Yes. I loved the way it was shot. I like... Dickens, yeah. Well, I, I was getting about an hour into the movie, and I'm like, I want this to be my new favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, I wanted it to be too. I really did. It was so... It, the just, story was not there. The story yeah. wasn't there, but it was so well shot. It and was. And I was like, yeah. this guy is fucking awesome. Whoever He's this... an amazing director. Yeah. The cinematographer was Deacons, who's done amazing things. And I'm hiring so. Deacons. <laughs> I'm hiring him for all my shit. So... There you go. I like the director. At least I think that he has so much potential to do great stuff. So I'm on board for this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Please follow Meryl Goldsmith on the social media. Check out other reactions, reviews, short, short films, and video game related videos. Subscribe to the channel if you're awesome and you like Meryl Goldsmith and Jabby. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is Meryl Goldsmith. Peace out.